Good morning. Uh, I'm going to do a little audit of my CNC project. Uh, and I have managed to sell myself out of art bar molds, so I'm going to make them. And the CNC machine has, uh, once I got the bugs out of it, uh, oh, what a boon. I, I can, the other day I came out and made three different styles of molds plus melting dishes in the time it would have taken me before to do one. The biggest bug was after the mechanical slack was the z-axis module driver was flakier in hell. It always run good when you start up and then after a period of time it would kind of go wacko. So I'm converting my other CNC so I went ahead and bought a couple three extra modules and since that point this thing is just it's a money maker so on Kanban I had all my programs I made and uh, this is actually this is the Mach 3 screen so I'm gonna make molds that used to be like a six or seven step process so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the back of the two-part mold so I go into my file and I get down here and I get to my Scully art bar complete and then the back and I load it up I'm gonna cut this without the vacuum running because it would be a little noisy so the next step is I'll go over and put in a piece of stock so I'll uh, get over there So this is the two parts, uh, they're surfaced on the inside, and one side is rough, and so I take the surface side of one piece, position it in the vise, I have the center point of the machine set up to where this bar goes right to the end, and I check see that it's level and then normally I would start the vacuum now but start the CNC go over to Mach 3 and tell it to do its duty so this is what it's going to produce is a pocket there we go so that's the back half of the mold and this is actually complete so I'll do the next one with the vacuum you'll see it cut it for the back. They're done. Uh, 
Okay, next step, I'm ready to go ahead and do the next part. So I close that file and I load. And now I want to make the pocket. Okay, Art Bar Scully Complete Pocket. So now I got the program loaded up. Everything's going to use the same center points, and uh, we'll just cut the other half. Position it in the clamp. Ingot cavity, crucible section, and the sprue channel. These things really make a nice ingot. Uh, there actually is one more program I can put engraving into this tube. The last part of the little project is to put the vents in. And I used to hand crank all of these. So what I've done is I bought a small uh, ER chuck and it goes into my larger one and lets me use a lot wider range of uh, engraving bits so I'll put a piece of stock in there I'll get in here a little closer and I'll cut the vents in the gravity mold It has its vents. Uh, don't know that they really help, but you put the two halves together, you end up with an upper chamber where you can put your silver before you melt it. And then you've got your 
ingot cavity on the bottom with the vent so saves a lot of work anyway uh, as a project worth every dime uh, I couldn't ask for anything better I just had to fight my way through the bugs uh, and I would not have thought the one module the way it acted I wouldn't have thought that's what the problem was I chased mechanical issues but worth every penny spent nowhere near what it cost for a CNC machine this size and what I've gained here is, is speed and accuracy and I'm not cranking the handle so any of you guys out there thinking of converting your small mills to CNC's boy go for it it's it's worth every penny